Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back again with another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Hey, that's not what I wanted to do. Here on Aberration, and we are going to be messing around with a few things today. Um, it looks like that XB added a new mod to the server. And what is that mod? Well, it's basically just a simple mod that allows you to craft element in your inventory uh, without the time cooldown and the charge batteries. Uh, that are required here on Aberration. I'm pretty sure that's the only mod that was added. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I wasn't really paying attention when I loaded into the server. Um, I kind of loaded in and then kind of forgot about it for a second and went did something else like I always do. Um, so yeah, that is uh, that is what we're doing. Oh, um, oh, actually, we're going to come down here. We're going to get some red crystals. That is what we're going to focus on. Uh, I'm not in a real strong Drake, so I want to be careful. Um, I'm actually in a weight Drake. But uh, I also wanted to let you guys know that I um, have heat, finally. So we have heat in our home, finally, so that is cool. But we had... Oh, I got knocked off way over here. Uh, I, I did have a pipe burst in our house. Yep, had a pipe burst. Because we had no heat, it burst on the uh, water heater. So now we have heat, but we have no water. Yep, yep. Just a just a bad week for old Drax. But hey, you know what? We're we're going on with it. We don't have to worry about it. We're just going to continue doing what we're doing, playing some video games, having fun, and that sort of thing. Uh, this is a bad spot to try and get some red crystal. There are two Reaper Queens right there. Um, so yeah, I don't I don't think I want them really mess with those at the moment. Um, do you have red crystal over here? You do. Yay. Yeah, it seems relatively safe over here. Except for a nameless that's about to come up and attack me. There we go. Alright, let's grab some red crystal, some red gems. What is attacking me? Globa? No, it's a seeker. It's a seeker. Get the seeker. Oh man, kill the seeker! Kill it! There we go. Okay, good. Um, and then we could just go ahead and just transfer the rest of that stuff over. Now we have a ton of weight on us at the moment, but I'm not too worried about it. Um, that Drake has has a good bit of weight, and so I'll, I'll just make sure that I get enough stuff here to uh, craft some things. We're going to have to go up and get some green gems too. Uh, they were going to craft a bunch of element. Then John and uh, XB actually made a, a tech replicator. So we will be able to start to mess with some stuff. And I'm trying to debate on what I want to get started with in tech. Since, you know, I've done tech stuff before. But this will be my first, like, foyer into tech on a vanilla-ish server. Like, And I know that we have S+. Plus, and we have this new mod that makes it easier to craft the element. Um, but it's still vanilla-ish. Like, it's still very vanilla and everything. So, um, now our rates and stuff, yeah, those aren't really vanilla. But, you know, what are you going to do, right? What are you going to do? They, they, they're they actually, I mean, to be honest with you about the rates, they're a little too high for me. But, you know, like I said, what are you going to do? Um, since I am on Aberration with this character, I'm trying to decide as well. Um, I have the character that went through Scorched Earth. That server is still up and running. Um, so I'm trying to debate whether or not I want to take that Scorched Earth character over to, um, to, to the island. Go through the island as a quick little series. Take my dinos and everything that I had over there. Um, do that. And um, then head over to aberration and try and do it that way or if I just want to take my aberration character um, claim basically all the T-Rexes that I have on uh, Scorched Earth do the Scorched Earth Manticore fight real quick and then take this character over to the island um, and kind of do that so I, I can't decide what are you what would you guys be okay with seeing and what would you kind of want to get into but uh, yeah I'm going to take a minute I'm going to go get some green crystals we're going to craft some element and we're going to see what we can get into alright so, there is some green crystal. Let's go ahead and grab some of that. 
Bum, bum, bum. I know I'm calling it green crystal. It's green gems, but uh, to me, it's kind of the same thing. Um, so we're going to grab as much of this as we can. I'm actually going to go ahead and drop the stone. But let's see. Uh, let's craft or pull stuff to craft 100. Not enough inventory space or weight. So let me go and put up all of this stuff on Mirage because I think Mirage has just about everything that we're going to need to craft this. So if I put everything up there, uh, let's go ahead and craft 10. And we pulled enough stuff for six crafts. Okay. And yeah, I think the big factor there is my weight. Uh, let's see, can I pull another 10? Yeah, do another six. So yeah, I'm gonna just go around and I'm gonna craft as much element as I can. Uh, I have a good amount of stuff. I'll probably go down and get some more elemental ore down from the hazmat zone. Uh, I'll take you guys with me when I do that uh, because I'm sure you guys may or may not know where that stuff is. Um, that's a little safer than going to the surface or depending on, yeah, we're at 50 night, 50 day. So I'm not going to go to the surface. I'll probably go down to the hazmat area. But um, yeah, let me go ahead. I'm going to need some more green gems. Green gems. I'm good on red gems. I'm good on blue gems. I'm good on ore at the moment. I could use a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to grab some more green gems. All right, I need to grab some more elements. So I am coming down here into the hazmat zone. Going to land right here on the back. Well, not on the back, but underneath the uh, skeleton. And you see these little rocks through here? This is what I want. This is going to be the element ore. It's pretty good stuff. You get some metal out of them and, and whatnot too. But we are strictly after that elemental ore. Or element ore. Uh, not elemental ore. But let me drop a good bit of that. That. And we should be able to come up here and put this stuff on you. And let's see if we can go ahead and craft up some more. Uh, yeah, I mean, our weight seems to be the biggest holdup with everything. Um, let's see, craft three more. Not enough resources for the pool. So we are going to be out of gel, but we are up to 22 element. So I'm going to grab a bunch more of this elemental ore, probably as much as my guy can carry. Take that up to the base, then go and fill up my inventory with... Um, red gems and then I'll probably have enough for something. I'll probably have 30 or 40 of this stuff. Alright, so we're coming over here to John Bain's base to try and use the tech replicator. Looks like he's got this ramp built here. And he's building a pretty cool dome too. That's pretty neat. Alright, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and what do we want to make right off the bat? I think I want to get started with a tech saddle uh, because I've you, you, something you might not know. I have never made a tech saddle. So I think I want to make a tech rock drake saddle. Uh, yeah, I think that's what I want to make. Uh, so let's go ahead. Let's grab black pearls from Mirage. Let's grab the crystal from Mirage. Let's grab the element from Mirage. Um, and then I'm going to need all the rest of the stuff. If he has it, great. If not, I'll have to go and make a couple more trips. He does. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on. Let's craft one. There we go. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, I made it. Yes. Turn it off. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, so does this replace that saddle? It does. Oh, man. Look at it. No way. Oh, this thing. It's now a three-seater. I can't believe it. It's a three-seater. It's a tech saddle that looks amazing. Okay, so what... Besides more armor... The bite doesn't do anything... Oh, I probably need to put element in its inventory. Okay, okay, that's the uh, the left click. Right click is that C. C just makes you go invisible, and then X. X didn't do anything. Uh, hold on. 
I'm confuzzled. Uh, equip to ride it, enable firing, enabling the rider to fire plasma projectiles. How do you fire plasma projectiles? Um, do I need to be like latched onto a wall or something? Okay. Let me get up onto that. Man, I don't know how to do this. I might have to look this up. Plus, I need to switch. Um, I need to switch uh, Rock Drakes to one of my attack ones. Probably to uh, to Kieran. All right, I switched to Kieran. It. Um, I thought I just heard a Reaper over here. Oh man. Oh, his his fat roll. That's not good. Turn the lights on. Nameless all around. Yeah, too many nameless over here in this area. Oh man. Okay, acid burn. Acid burn. Get out of there. Get out of there. Woo. We just had to rescue Z's base. We just had to rescue Z's base. Oh man. Okay, did I get any get anything besides the venom? No, I sure didn't. Okay, um, I still haven't looked up how this works. Not that. Not that. Nothing X, nothing on Z, nothing on V. Man, I have no idea how this works. Aha! I have figured it out. Oh, whoa. <gasps> okay, that's... <laughs> oh my goodness. <gasps> that is like the coolest thing ever. He actually like turns into a turret and just... Oh, I can move too. Okay, so he, he can move. Oh my goodness, that is so cool. I am like flabbergasted at that. That is amazing. Okay, we're gonna need to color this saddle too. Let me go ahead, let me grab this. I can't. <laughs> Ooh, guys, I'm, I'm sorry, but that is like the coolest thing I've seen in a while. I haven't, uh, I have never made one of the tech saddles before, really. Um, and not actually used one like that. Not in a, what will actually be a day-to-day -day RP or, uh, you know, playthrough. But let's take a look here. Um, if I do that, uh, nothing seemed to change. That's the base body. That's some body accents. Uh, nothing there. I wonder if there's just something that's changing that I'm just not noticing. Some more accents and then the little bits there. Okay, so let's do the body in white. Yeah, I think the body in white. Then we'll do this in green. That's the seat is what's changing there. We'll do this in green. We'll do these in a light green. Uh, let's change the seats to black. Oh, it's kind of like the tips there. You can see them when they, when I click on them. Hold on. See, they turn to white or they turn slightly green. It's like the tips right there. That's pretty cool too. All right. Let's see what this looks like actually on the Drake. Cause I bet it's going to look so cool. All right, I'm gonna have to make so much more element because this is this is gonna be like the coolest thing ever. I am so excited about this. You guys, you have no idea. Oh my goodness. He's so cool. He's so cool. Let's take a look. Oh my goodness. I I am I am blown away. Let's see, go invisible. That was a waste of so much element, but I don't even care. That is so cool. <laughs> oh, 
man. All right, all right. I, I want to go play around with this a little bit. I will bring you guys back in just a few minutes. So one thing I'm actually really curious on, and I was on the wiki and I was reading um, about this saddle and trying to see, you know, what it was really good for. And it says the plasma cannon from the saddle is very useful in taming giants that usually require heavier equipment, such as a carquinos, as it is capable of knocking one out, but is very expensive as it uses element. So these things can knock out the carquinos. Now that one's only level 10. I'm not gonna worry about hitting that one, but let's see if we can run into another one down here. Something a little bit bigger. Let's like look dead ahead here. That one's only a 60. This one is a 25. Not worried about that one. Uh, what what level was that one? That's a Diplo. Okay, that one's a level 100. So let's see. Let's try this out. Let's see how it works. Okay. I'm not hitting it very well. Let me see if I can get him now. Okay. I did 400 damage there. Kill the manta ray. Oh, wow. That was like incredibly easy. Did you see how fast we knocked that thing out? It's, I mean, cause it's not dead, is it? Let me, let me take a look here real quick. That is unbelievable. That is, that is legitimately unbelievable how easy it is to tame one of these guys with a tech saddle. That is so crazy. Now, I don't want... I don't want a level 100. If I'm going to tame one of these guys, plus I don't I don't have the raw meat on me, but I'm going to go for something bigger. Let's, let's see if we can't find something a bit bigger. Well, I didn't find a bigger crab than level 100, but I figured I would come up here to the surface grab some loot drops as fast as I can and then head back down to the underbelly because I, I just I'm loving this saddle and if not even the saddle itself is that cool to me it's just the look of the saddle is amazing and what I wouldn't give for there to be a mod out there or for even base arc to make it to where you could hit a button and boost with this saddle would be just amazing. Like how cool would that be to be jetting along and all of a sudden you could just give yourself a boost and you would just be boosted. Just poof, just go like it would be so cool to be able to do that. Um, and it looks like we didn't get much of anything through this. Maybe this chest piece might be pretty good. Um, but that looks like it's going to be about it. Now we're going to have another blue drop coming down over here. And I'm thinking that we're going to be okay. We might make this blue drop. Um, but I do want to keep myself pointed. Oh, wow. Hey, hi. How you doing? Uh, I do want to keep myself pointed near this opening. Definitely do not want to be caught out on the surface whenever the sunrise comes because that would be bad whenever the radiation and such come out to play go away I don't like you but yeah we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna wrap up the video there guys um i had a blast today uh probably one of the funnest things just getting that tech saddle for that rock drake is so so cool i i really i am i'm I'm just, it's amazing. Like, I love things like this about ARK that, um, you know, I just, I never thought that making a tech saddle would be worth it. Like, to me, they just weren't. But I have proven to myself today 
that a tech saddle is so cool. It is so cool. I mean, you can't do that with a regular saddle. There's not even many mod things that can do that. Like that is, that is super awesome. And I would love to see more stuff like that in arc and it will definitely be on my radar in the future but for now guys thanks so much for watching if you liked the video please hit the like button if you haven't already please subscribe and i will see you in the next episode of arc survival evolved aberration have a good one guys